Hey KJ Crew, welcome back to another episode. Guys, tonight we are at a haunted hotel in the Derry location. We don't want to say the name because we're just a wee bit scared of... Having to take the video down? Yeah. So we are in a local hotel that sits just on the outskirts of Derry. Um, anyone who has read the Parade of Phantoms book or has been on that, isn't there like a Derry, haunted Derry website, will know this story. The story attached to here is very short, so this won't take long. <laughs> Multiple accounts have been filed over the years that tell the tale of an old stagecoach that trundles along the Cluny Road and then stops right outside this hotel. So the driver then disembarks from the stagecoach and whenever he gets to the entrance of the hotel, he just suddenly disappears. There are also some reports from guests of this hotel of ghosts being sighted in bedrooms and footsteps being heard along the corridors. I actually did a bit of digging and right. I haven't told you this yet. Wow. <laughs> There's actually an old article in like the Coal Rain Chronicle from 1965. Right. Now, even back then, the stagecoach story was a big story. And the, it, uh, I'll insert it here, but there's even a picture of like the man who had seen it. And the person who, who's writing this article, he actually says, like, do you believe in ghosts? He says, no. He says, but do I believe the men that are telling me the stories? He's like, absolutely, he does. So they must have been like trustworthy men. There's a wee bit more to the story in that it only actually happens every seven years. So the next one actually won't be the 2028. So apparently, and the last one happened in 2021. Yeah. That's the stagecoach. But apparently there has still been stuff ghosts in people's rooms and footsteps in the corridors. Yeah. And I remember reading something about bathrooms. Right. Always with the bathrooms. Particular bathrooms. Um, now anyone who's seen this stagecoach, um, particularly in the story I read, said that they never get any sense of like fear, fear. or anything from it. But, I would shit my pants. Yeah, me too. But apparently it was drawn by four white horses. Was my theory correct? <laughs> I don't know. Obviously. That might be, be a clue as to where we are. I said don't to Jason. Don't put that in the comments. <laughs> I said to Jason, do you think this place is called what it's called because of that story? Now let's get into the video. I'm going to go turn out the lights. Dun dun dun. Kim is now going for a seer session. We have the ram paw by the door. Um, I have a cat toy there. It's on. Uh, the flux is there. It's not on yet. We're going to do a separate session with that later. Um, here's a cat toy by Kim. And there is a cat toy over here. So my name is Jason. That's Kim who sat in front of you. Um, we're here tonight to keep you company. We want to ask you some questions, find out a wee bit about you find out a wee bit about the stories that we've heard here. Um, one way that you can tell us some stuff is by Kim has a device on the top of her head and what that will do is you can use your energy. Um, that device will then take that energy and create an image. Um, so you can create any type of image you want. You can show us what you look like. You can show us what we look like to you. You can show us what this room looks like, what this hotel looks like. Um, it can be any, absolutely anything you want. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I would like to see the stagecoach. There you go. Do you want to show us the stagecoach? I have an image. Already? Yeah. It's it's a wall. Like it's, look, it's a square, so it could be like a memorial of some kind. It's like all rocks though. It looks like rocks to me. Uh, color, there's like color uh, kind of around it, like leaves and flowers. Uh, is that a river? Are they banks like going up like this? And that, I don't know if that's rocks or a river now that it's forming with like leaves and flowers. 
If there is any spirits listening right now, can you please send me through an image to communicate? If there are any spirits, my grammar is shocking. I uh, I can't record this for some reason. You don't have like the paid version. You're still here on the mic, still, would you? Yeah, you should. Yeah, make sure it's uploaded. So he ever showed the image to Kim of, um, we're not really sure why. I think it was a river, you know? She thinks it was a river. I suppose we're... I know what you're going to say. We're relatively near the river here. Ah, uh, the river falls. We're not, re- we're not near, but I mean, we're not a kick in the arse off. Is there any significance to the river that you want to tell us? Imagine you're just in your hotel room, like next door, and you can hear us being all, is there any ghosts? <laughs> I know. Kim was really dying to see an image of the stagecoach. Can you please show her? You go into kind of like a trance whenever you're in the this VR set, and it's like all clouds. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't turn the internet off on your phone? No, I'm positive. You read a gun image through, sure. Aye, uh, but whenever you were doing the, the volume or something, because it doesn't normally take as long for that much. I was nowhere near it. Thank you very much. Okay, there's one coming through. Apology accepted. It doesn't make the noise, so. Yeah, uh, so I got one. There's, it's it's on the ground, it's a ring. Um. So there's a big massive ring, uh, like a big massive circle. And then inside the big massive circle is a gold ring. So it's like a, a ring within a ring on the ground. And the the bricks look kind of goldy as well, like on the ground. Like, What's the significance of the ring? Can you tell us? I'm also in Ghost Tube yet. With Ghost Tube running as well, just in case um, anyone wants to vocally communicate. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. Joyce, is that your name? Actually, when I heard Joyce, I think I, the first thing that came into my mind was like rejoice. Yeah. But I don't know if that's, I would love to know some like area history, like townland history. Poundland? That's what you said? Aye, poundland history. There's a it's, snake. An image of a snake? A snake on grass. That's what I'm saying. No, I mean like townland, T O W N. Alright, I thought you said poundland. What's Just, the deal with a snake? What's the significance of the snake in the grass? Like snake in the grass? That's literally what it is. It's just the one snake in grass. Like the term snake in the grass is like a dishwag. What? What? Okay, I think it's outside. I think it's outside the room. I heard noises, but they sounded like they were coming just from that corner. But they might have been coming from outside. What? The spirits. If there's any spirits in this room with us now. Can you give us a sign in relation to the, the plastic balls that's dotted around the room? And it'll not harm you in any way, but it'll just let us know that you're here. Get an image. It's dolls. Are they creepy looking dolls? I mean, what dolls are not creepy looking? <laughs> it's a wee, it's like a, a bigger doll here. There's a hand here, and then. Shh, shh, shh. What? I heard that noise from the corner again. I just want to hear that. Hold on.
sound of like, I don't know, like just movement from the corner. Like of shuffles. The room. Aye. And I think there's a like really big shadow behind me. Right. The dolls. Are they creepy? Not really. No. It was like a it was like a girly doll, like a bigger one, and then a smaller one. And then it was like a human hand coming in to touch them. But the hand only had four fingers. If that's you making a noise in the corner of the room, maybe you're scared to come on, come on in to the room. And we just want to say, like, don't be scared. We don't mean any harm. Come on and like sit with us and uh, communicate with us. If I leave this ball here on the bed. Do you want to come down and sit beside me? I have an image. Wow. What? It's thousands and thousands of... I don't know if it's people or statues. But... And then it's like all blue. Like It kind of looks like they're all standing in water. Um, it looks like they're standing like this. Although because it looks like this as well. Some of them, to me, the way the picture is, because it might be a bit blurry. They kind of look like skulls, but I think that's just the way I'm seeing it. I think they might be standing like this. And because it's all blue everywhere, I think it might be they're in the water, but they're like standing, there's thousands and thousands, and then mountains in the back. Do you want to come down and sit beside me? Just take a wee seat here in the bed. Or maybe there's a different way that we can communicate with you. We have a new device that we're dying to try. We can ask you yes or no questions. For anybody that never seen this during the 24 and 24 series, this is our new piece of equipment. It's called a flux. And basically, whenever it's down and this is on, there's a green side and a red side for yes and no answers, and it makes sound. And basically the way it works is that there's actually wee small sensors in this, and it's motion-based. So we can ask the spirits to come up on one side for yes, one side for no. And I think it actually is like proximity-based as well. So I think the closer something is... yeah. The, the quicker the beeps get as well. So we're calling out to any spirits that might want to have a conversation with us right now. Maybe there's a loved one that you want to have a, that you want to give a message to. We don't know how we're going to figure out your message with yes and no answers, but we'll we can say like. Yeah, but imagine we had to work out like every single word yeah true what if it's a really random message like how's the squirrel okay that was random that is random it's very random are any spirits here just come up and stand on either side of this device put your <laughs> hand out <laughs> wow. i just imagined when you said that just come and stand beside like come and stand beside that so like a person's just standing right here on top of the table. Like if we just get up now and stood on that table beside it. You yeah. don't have to stand beside it. Well, you have to be relatively close. Like that's how close I have to be. Should we up this? You just messed that up again. Like we have to with the calibrate No, again. it doesn't. Sure, it'll, it goes off. All right. Right, stop it. I was having a disco. It might take a while, but I want to communicate with someone using this device yeah please someone come forward and just stand on either side either stand beside me or stand beside Kim this device it won't cause you any harm we're not sure if it will like use some of your energy maybe that's a possibility but it won't cause you any harm it won't hurt you apparently past guests at this hotel have seen ghosts and heard footsteps. Are those spirits willing to communicate?
maybe you want to communicate with one of us by ourselves and if that's the case you can stand beside whoever you want that to be and this will go off do you know what we've never done like you would think because of what we do the curiosity would just get the better of you and you would do it but we've never ever ever in three and a half years ever attempted to contact one of our loved ones you would just assume that we have done that but we really haven't and I don't know why after three and a half years I'm tempted but like I I would be tempted to try and because it's about a year year and a half ago my mommy asked me to try and contact my granny remember mm. and I wouldn't I feel like well, we both know the reason for that is because we're one we're scared that something or somebody not nice will come through and try and use your emotion. loved one, your emotion to like invite them into your, to your life and stuff. And also we we don't want to end up getting a message of I'm oh, hurt. I'm hurt and in pain and you know, because we don't know what happens after death. No, we, we don't like no one has ever gonna know. But also man, curiosity. I don't know why after three and a half years right ra- randomly sitting here it's popped into my head this this hotel has no relation as far as I'm aware to any of my my family members I kind of have a small link to you here do you with my family I was telling you on the way in what uh, there was a wedding here oh that's right so like one of my grandparents has been here I'm not doing that though. No. No. Like our parents watch this. I don't know. I'm they... saying off off camera. Off camera, you want to do that? I'm just so curious. Like maybe not tonight, but maybe I think some other night we we should and off camera. Obviously, if yeah. you want to, I'm I'm up for that. Can I say something to you off camera? Do you know that really random phrase that you decided to use there now? What? How's the squirrel? The squirrel? Aye. Aye. Like, where did that come out of? My brain. Why? Oh my god. Someone's here. Hello. What? My granddad's name was, was Cyril, right? Uh huh. And we used, like, we used squirrel. Like that's what we used to like call him as a nickname. No way. Hi. What did I say again? Um, we were we were talking about all a, a random thing or something. You were on about a somebody. How's the, squ- how's the squirrel? A, want to give a random message or something? I. You were like oh, but they can give a family member. Yeah. We were talking about giving a family member a random message, mm-hmm. and then I was as an example randomly came to my brain, saying, "How's the squirrel?" Mm-hmm. I had no idea that you had no idea that story. No. Like I just told you that for the first time, and, and that not, was a... and not many people know that story. My family know that story. Like my mommy asked. That's weird. Right, we have to okay, get that part on. Two seconds, right? We're going out for it was my birthday tomorrow. We're going out with lunch with mommy on Sunday, mm-hmm. right? Before this will even be out, right? Right? Yeah. Ask my mommy like what was well, my grandma's nickname? nickname? Are you recording? Yes. So we were following. A- and someone came up about Cyril mm-hmm. and uh, I had no idea about a nickname so like what was his nickname? Cyril so Squirrel? Uh, so we had to have that put on for the video oh, nice. the oh, Squirrel thing came up um, while we were doing stuff what? this went I up. know but it went off just as I was telling you about that like just as I was starting to tell you about that and it went in no as if don't don't try that. and contact is what I was yeah. getting from that. Because I was contact. about to say, like, all that's to do with my granddad. So. Mm. That's weird. It's your birthday tomorrow. It was your family that has been to this hotel before. Mm. And then randomly, that I'm all oh, check my on side. the squirrel. Oh, I, your side of the flux. And that wasn't me. Like, I have freezing like shivers I'd had my to, spine. I had had to do that. Uh, and I didn't do that. Yeah. Why? 
That's that's that strange. Even like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. That is strange. Was that saying no? Or was that standing on my side? Ask. I'm scared. We believe a spirit is here or yeah. was here. Maybe they were just passing through. But you you set the device off on this side. So does that mean that you are wanting to contact me? Or did that mean that you were saying no to trying to contact family members? So stand beside Kim. Wow. I hadn't even given it a choice yet. I think that's obvious though. That it's the, a, a no. The, no, it's to you. It's to me. It's standing on your side. I think you should uh, make it very clear and we'll just wait again. Okay. Stand on my side if you stand on my side if you are Jason's family and that's how he's he's gonna know. And stand on Jason's side if you don't want him to contact. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, it was it was because we didn't know if it was going to know. That's no clear. Let's just ask Okay. Uh, that's that's okay. two separate questions actually. No, well it was stand on stand on that side if you're for yes or no. Do you want to contact do you want do you want Jason to contact you? Do you want do you want to communicate with Jason? Directly, green for yes, red for no. I think that's more, yeah, clear. So if you want to talk to, if if you want Jason to actually contact his family directly, green for yes, red for no. So we're looking for a sign if Jason should try and contact his loved ones that has passed on. My side for yes, his side for no. Oh. It's just, it was just weird. And of all the sentences you could ever say in life. I know. Like, check on the house, the squirrel. It's just, just as I say that sentence again. But that's a no. That's a no. We ask clear, look. So they do, whoever this spirit is, this might not be a family member of yours. This could just be another spirit saying, don't try and contact your family. What are you thinking? I don't know. I find it really odd that The first time we've ever, ever talked about contact and family. Ever. Mm. I mean, seriously, talked about it. Yeah. Like, I know we've talked to you, to, we've talked about how your mom has asked us, and we've been all, no, we'll not, we would never do that. We never, yeah. like, even people who watch us have asked us to come and try and contact their family members, and we've said no because, um, we're, we're just never sure of the stuff that we're going to get through, and, if that happens to be that someone's in pain and stuff, I like I don't want to be responsible for for passing that information on to people. Yeah. Um. And the first time we we're sitting actually really talking about this seriously, by talking one of them, like this is going off. It was when I came to answer him whenever we were talking to my family. Yeah. And. Nickname. Yeah. And talking about squirrels. He was not that wedding. Because he'd have been dead already. Morbid. Wow. I can't. What does it mean? That didn't go off. The whole time we were asking it, they stand beside me, stand beside you. What is it? Like, yes, for blah, blah, blah. Until we started talking about him. So we were just going to talk about him, weren't we? Yeah. So his name was Cyril. His nickname, like the family would have called him, was Squirrel. 
um so that's why it's really odd of all and you, you like you really never knew that no we just asked the one question like is this a member of your family is this a member of my family stand beside me for yes kim for no I don't know what any of it all means. I don't know why it was going to red. Maybe it was like, so we asked the question there now, was it a, is it a member of your family? Nothing's happened. And then whenever we were talking, just talking about your Brenda, mm -hmm. it was going to red. Maybe it's just constantly saying, no, it's not your Brenda. No, don't try and contact. But why? I know. See, Weird. this is why it would be handy to have a device that could give us words as well. Do you want me to sort out the ghost tube? Yeah. So we're going to put ghost tube on the, so that the spirit could give us words. I don't think you have words after that. Liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. You don't, you're not recording. You're right. Evil. Bats. Evil. What does that mean? And it went to red. Who is this? Can you tell us what you mean? And why you're going to red? We need to know what you're meaning by, by this. Oh. Can you hear him? Hear he? I'm a little scared, now. Me too. He's, so have you figured out how to use this? Can you come stand here for yes and on that side for no? Or like wave your ghost arms on either side? <laughs> And we can ask you yes or no questions. Like, that's the easiest way for, I feel, for us to all communicate with yeah. each other. Um, would you tend to agree? Do you want to come Might up? not be willing. Blessed. Blessed. <laughs> um, just in case. Just in case. So... Can you tell us your name? Can you find your name in this device? No, it is really odd that it was going off red. Consistently? Uh, and then when we did swap is the first time the green went off. Because I'm not going to lie, when it went red the first time, I was like, mm, is this flux a wee bit faulty? Or so, not faulty, but I was like, is there something like within the room that we haven't like a coin to verse on? Um, and then the green side went off, and then it really started to freak out. Um, no, I don't. I don't think it's faulty. I don't think it's faulty either, because it literally it it works by motion sensor, so like there's mo like you've seen us. The end of and, how, and how far it's away like, you have to be in. It's like infrared sensors, like um, you know, like your light, yeah, like a light that in, in your driveway when you like pull onto your driveway and the light comes on, like that's what it is. So when someone sits in front of it, that's breaking that that infrared barrier, that infrared light. Yeah, and you can see that even Jason like does this and talks with his hands. It's not going off. Yeah. Why did you say evil? That's what I want to know. Yeah. It said evil, but then it says blessed. Are you evil? Are you evil? Stand, stand on this side. For yes, that side. For no, I'm sure you know the sides by now. Are there any spirits here? It seems to me. It seems like spirits are just passing through, and they don't want to talk. They maybe it's residual, and they don't even know that they're setting that off. Do you know what I mean? 
Do you think it's intelligent? Because if it is, like, why? That's intelligent. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's so intelligent. It's, so red went off first, so they said it's not residual. Then green went off, so it's that, that was saying it's intelligent response. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad that that's what I wanted to know if you were, if you knew that we were here and wanting to talk, so that's good. See, we don't know how much energy it takes and how much time. Are you willing to communicate using this device? can't see that light's too bright. I know, I can't. That's the last thing I was talking about, I think, as well. Over here, which side? Stand on the side. Or maybe you're over by the door, because there's a wee box on the ground there. Yeah, we have a REM pod. I don't know if we said that through the camera, but our REM pod's at the main door. I showed it way at the start. You can go over and stand beside it, and that'll, that'll go off. That would be awesome. Oh, there'd be no way I was staying here tonight. Are you a spirit that guests, past guests, has seen you? Do you reside at this hotel? Where? So we're in a hotel at the minute. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe you. This hotel wasn't here when you were alive. Yeah, it might not be someone. Again, we haven't done like history. No. No. Right. So. So there was no hotel. Was there an inn? Like, was there any sort of building here? Yeah. Could you give us a word? Like, maybe it was start. a start. Start. The very start. The very start of of the timeland. Of the very start of... What do you know this place as? So you know where the big roundabout is before you get here? Yeah. Like... A house. A house. house. Wow. That's awesome. Where they're building houses is what I was saying. When they were building those houses, that housing estate that's going on there, they like how they stop works for ages because they find like... Aye. Remnants of like civilization, so like you know, like old um, bits of clay and pottery and stuff like that. Here, that's right. So I mean, God knows what was here at the start. At the start of time. Can we get your name? I think I need to um change the battery on this camera. Keep this one running, just yeah. Could you maybe set off our device here on the table um, to show us which side you're standing on? Or floating on? And I would really like to get your name. What or what time period you're from, if you know that? So what year? Sarah. 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 That's you asked awesome. for a name and that that, that that's like awesome. Name. Hi Sarah. Thank you so much for telling us your name. Sarah, what what year is it for you? Also, could you could you maybe give us more clues as they like more about your life basically? Your your story? I think Sarah's enjoys our crack. Imagine she's like from a different time and she's like, What's crack? Humor is what the crack means, Sarah. Do you like that we're talking with you? Stop. I don't think Sarah likes her crack. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Who are you? I'm Kim. And I'm I'm Jason. The reason we're here is we strangely enough like talking to people that has passed on that might seem strange but and again sorry if you didn't know that you had passed on i think they know 
Mm-hmm. Some people don't. Had, did you know that? Did you know you had passed on? <sighs> so, just for reference, we stopped the flux session because we ran out of memory in the memory card. We jagged everything. Cameras are moved. Jason's about to do a blind spirit box session. I'll get the lights. Of all the sessions, of all ghost hunts could be like this. Inside? Just me lying on a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, are you still here? And if so, do you want to tell us more things through Jason? Hello? Yes. Okay, that's good. Three. Three. Can you tell us what you mean? By three. Here? Three spirits here, okay. Three here. Now that could be us two and Sarah. Do you mean us two and Sarah? I I think it said please be careful. Okay. Be careful. Here. Be careful of, of who? Kim. Me? Or me be careful? What do you mean? Welcome. Welcome. Are, are we okay to be here? Kim. What about me? I feel like I'm so unimportant. Can you repeat Outside. That? Outside. The haunted story is about outside this hotel. Are you referring to the phantom coach? Well, that was a wee creepy whisper. What do you mean? Outside? It sounded like it said Je m'appelle, which I know is French. Weird. Can you set off the ramp hall behind me? I'm finding it very hard to make out. Can you speak more clearly? You said three earlier. Do you mean there's three spirits here? I feel like there's actually loads being said, but I'm missing it. Sorry, Gemma. I feel like I'm... Jason? I hear Jason. I, I never really have an issue with hearing the spirit box, so I might try and jump under and see. I heard outside again. Outside's obviously where this, this the coach pulls up outside and the phantom spirit gets out, walks up to the doors of the hotel and then disappears. So leave that's me relevant. alone. Right, leave me alone. Jesus. Oh, cozy. Is this Sarah? Yeah. Water. You showed us a picture of water earlier. Is that significant? The mirror. Did you say the mayor or the mirror? The mirror has a like, glass mirror. Or mayor. You say Kim's name a few times. Maybe you wanted her doing this. It was. It was what? Is this Sarah? Maybe it's Jason. Um, I don't think it is Jason because I'm here. But maybe it is. Who knows? <gasps> the way some people think, like spirits are just people in time, and like maybe it's me from the future. Here. Is that right? Is that is that been looking? Story? Been looking. Is that how this works? Is like. Weird. Shima Pale. I heard that. I heard that. Are you French? Knock. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle Jason. Uh, let me see. What is your name? Uh, what is your. Mapel? Train. Train. There are train tracks. Here. Yeah. Hem, stay. Yeah, we're both going to stay. I'm staying by myself. It's me. Who's me? Is it Sarah? 
I'm gonna be serious now. Sorry, I know. I don't think you like this. I crack. Thank you. You're very welcome, Sarah. Can I ask what year it is for you? Yeah. Okay, what year is it? Walk. Walk. Follow me. Walk, follow me. Where Where do you want me to follow you to? I know. Come. Where? If you can tell us where, we'll try and follow. You? Yep, me. I'll, I'll try and follow. At night? You? Jason? Mm-hmm. Out. Out where? Where do you want me to go? Do you want me to come out on my own at night somewhere? Yep. What time at night? It is night. Or do you mean later? Ye. Okay. Do you want me to wait? Yep. I haven't even finished my sentence. Do you want me to wait until Kim's sleeping at night? And then for me to go out of this room Jason. and walk somewhere? Room. Kim. I don't know if I can wander the hotel at night. Jason out. Look. Do you want me to go out now? Leave. One. We're at one in the morning. One. Yep. And what's going to happen when I do go out at one in the morning by myself? Brave. I will be very brave. Don't, and then I will laugh. <laughs> Fail. Off my. Fell off my what? Can you finish the sentence? Well, I can't make out that. And wait, where do you want me to walk to at one, at one in the morning? Just out in the corridors? Back. Your house? <laughs> I'm not walking the whole way home at one in the morning. I'm yes, so sorry. sleep. Sound good? <laughs> I, and breathe. I I can't walk home at one in the morning by myself. Eyes. I swear to God, it said eyes. Jason, that's weird. That is weird. Is this, is this a relative of mine? Is this my grandest girl? I'm just going to flat out ask. Quick. Is a man saying quick? If it is grandest girl, there's one word that you could say. One, two. And then I would honestly believe it was you. Word. One. Yeah, Here. One word. And you know it. What? <laughs> well, I can't tell you. I can't. It's the home we used to say to you. How we knew you were telling the truth. You tell. No, I can't tell if, if this is. Hello. That's how we always knew Grandpa was telling the truth. Emotional. So I don't think it's my granddad, Cyril. Cause Much. Because he, he hasn't said that word. Is Sarah still here? Psst. Oh, Jesus. That was creepy. Here. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, do you mind telling me what age you are? These people might. What people? Them. What age is Sarah? There, six. So you're young, Sarah. I imagine they're a bit older, just. You listening? Gotcha. Okay, it's a little bit creepy. 
one. I just heard a noise in the radiator and then it said you listen. Yeah. You listen and then gotcha. All right, listen. I am listening. Do you want to make that noise in the radiator Nine. again? Dumb whore. Wow. I took a turn. <laughs> I think they're literally like taking the hand and slagging and like <laughs> oh. I think they're just if you're going to be rude we might have to call it a night dirty nights here yeah. there'll be no dirty nights oh dirty nights here have you seen some sites yeah. in this hotel yeah yep here oh can you tell us hard yeah okay wow this is <laughs> this is a kid's show <laughs> can you tell us what year it is feel been? whoa right we need to stop now can you tell us what year it is for you me yeah for you jason <laughs> now hair mine Excuse me, you cannot take my hair. <laughs> this is like, I think this position. is talk a, like a bit of a sexual turn. <laughs> me too, Kim. You Knees. Can. No. I'm and then get, it went, foof. I'm going to get her out because I think this. Don't tell. This is not safe for work. Let's kind of carry on. Hi. I had to stop you because this is a kid's show. I, I think they're now like, I literally think it was like talking about like, them and we're seeing somebody that's that's what i asked like because it... in this room we're about to get ready and going to bed we will keep cat toys uh one on jason's side one on my side and keep the night vision rolling for as long as it'll stay um on for and see what we capture if we get any of the footsteps the past guests have seen and heard heard <laughs> tired now uh, as always, you just keep an eye out and you're out for anything that we might miss and um, pop it on the comments with a wee timestamp. So, so that's a wrap hopefully we've survived the night we don't know we haven't gone to sleep yet but we know we're going to forget to record an outro in the morning so we're recording it now hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.